Cincinnati trip was um, really nice. <laughs> We made it to the Renaissance Hotel, walked in, checked it out. Now, what wasn't recorded was us sanitizing the room. I know they do their sanitizing, but, you know, be safe rather than sorry. So, we sprayed everything down with Lysol. While we were waiting for my aunt and two cousins to get there, we kind of wind down. And, of course, I decided to change my clothes and get a little comfortable while we were waiting. That didn't last too long. They end up pulling up. I had to throw some clothes on. And then we headed over to the shopping plaza, the outlet. Hit up Nike and then went to the infamous Mikazamel for some food and lovely, lovely drinks. You were so ready. So our Cincinnati trip was um, really nice. It was a really great weekend. It was kind of a lot going on that weekend though. Like um, I think it was graduations, weddings, and then the baseball game was going on and we stayed downtown. So 
It was a lot going on. It was a lot of people. There was a wedding going on at the hotel we stayed at. So yeah, it was just a lot of people. And with this pandemic, it's like, ooh, a lot of people wait. Ugh. Back up, you too close to me. So we had to, you know, decide on where we were going, what we were doing. But it ended up really cool. I want to go back. The reason why we went was because it was on my mom's bucket list and she wanted to go to Cincinnati and the zoo and the Freedom Center and all the other stuff. But due to COVID, um, we can only do certain things. So we went to the Freedom Center, but we couldn't go to the zoo. I wasn't trying to go to the zoo, no way. Um, because I think they closed early and it was only so many slots left or open at the time or something like that. But we stayed at the Renaissance Hotel downtown. That was really nice. Only issue is that our heat was going out. So it was kind of chilly in the room. Other than that, like, I really like that hotel. Honestly, I probably would go back to that hotel. Um, they were really, really nice and accommodating. Um, let's see, what else did we do? We went to, for breakfast, they do have some brunch breakfast spots. And if you stay at a hotel downtown, a lot of things are in walking distance, um, restaurant wise. So for breakfast, we went to, uh, the Taste of Belgium, which was like literally a few blocks down. On Sunday, we went to the Sleepy Bee that was right there at the end of the corner of the same block. So we didn't even have to walk far. Um, on Thursday, when we first got there, we went out to the plaza. Now the plaza, the, I don't know what their outlet is called. I don't know. With like the Nike outlet, Michael Kors, Coach, you know, all the outlets. It's just like a big outlet plaza. Um, that was a drive though. It was like maybe 25 or so minutes to get there. I don't know. I wasn't driving. <laughs> and then, um, the Mexican restaurant with amazing drinks that a lot of people have been going down to Cincinnati to go to. That's actually not in Cincinnati either. It's like a 20 minute drive. So for stuff like that, you will need a car. Um, unless you want to pay for Uber. Papa Do also is not in Cincinnati. It's outside of Cincinnati and their wait times are crazy. If you have a big, bigger party, like we had, it was six of us. So if it was two people, you probably could have got in. But for us, no matter when we try to go, it was like an hour to two hour wait. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we did not make it to Papa Do, which is absolutely fine. I will hit it up another time, no problem. Um, So that was Friday on Saturday. Like we went to the Taste of Belgium. I would definitely recommend going to that restaurant um, for breakfast or brunch. And then we took the streetcar around. We went to the Freedom Center. We kind of rode around. They have two areas. There's the banks, um, which is, well, they really call it Dora, the Dora area. And I don't remember what Dora stood for, but due to COVID, you can go down there and you can, um, there's where the restaurants and the baseball stadium is like at the end of the corner, but you can have a drink in one spot. They'll give you to go cups. And then as long as you stay within that strip, you can walk up and down the street with your beer and your drink. So that's pretty cool. There's another area um, that you can take the streetcar right now due to COVID. Once again, it's free. So we were, up, I think it's only like a dollar or two two dollars per ride or something like that but as of right now it's free so of course we utilize that um that took us over to otr i don't even know what otr stands for um on on the rhine i think i don't know a lot of people don't really say they just say otr and that's another area where there's drinks there's um i think it's called pins where it's like an arcade hangout eat drink kind of spot for adults 
Um, so that was a that's a cool area to hang out in. Also, we did eat over there. I don't remember what it where it was, but they just had like burgers, and we just ate cheeseburger and fries. So it was kind of like one of the only places that we can get in at the at the time. So I really don't remember the name. Um, and then other than that, and then Sunday we had breakfast and then we left and we came back. But I want to go back because I feel like there was more, like there's a brewery area. Um, I think there's some more like hangout spots that we kind of missed. So I definitely want to go back and hang out in Cincinnati one more time. Um, I might because it's only like a four hour ride for me I think four ish all right um, I might just go down there to check out Papa Do one weekend and see you know what the hype is about I hear mixed reviews so you know I ain't got nothing else to do why not it's only a few hours away so that was our weekend in a nutshell I definitely um, make sure I put the places that we went and where we stayed in the description, but that was the weekend.